welcome in this lecture we are going to understand how lighting calculation is done whenever we are trying to design a lighting circuit in distribution system now your question will be in order to design the lighting circuit all we need to know about the wiring system that means the wires usually required its cross sectional area or total amount these things then what is the requirement to calculate or doing this entire lighting calculation the simple answer is in order to design the lighting circuit you need to know first the number of lighting fixtures required for a space if you know the quantity or the number then you can easily calculate the rest of the calculation related to cross sectional area of the wire or the length of the conductors okay all these wiring systems so we have understood the objective now what are the standard methods are followed for this lighting calculation first is watt per square method this method usually used where we need to do rough calculation or where you don't need any type of precision lighting that means suppose in a space where just lighting is required you don't need a proper lighting level or any type of sophisticated or precision works is going on there okay next is lumen or light flux method this method is extensively used for most of the lighting calculation okay and our calculation will also be based on this lumen or light flux method now your question will be what is lumen okay see the amount of light that is coming from a light fixture or lighting source comes in the form of light flux and this light flux unit is called lumen clear suppose this is a work space then this is the light fixtures okay so the amount of light is coming on this work space from this light is the light flux and its unit is lumen clear now what is inverse square law method this method is usually used for flood lighting air lighting this type of things okay now usually we have two types of lighting whenever you are working as an engineer in industry you have to work with the client who usually ask you for sometimes sophisticated lighting that is suppose this is a room or this is a place where you need lighting which gives you a different type of feelings that means the aesthetic feature is more important in sophisticated lighting here looks the matter for this type of lighting you have to consult with an interior decorator which is usually found in your farm you will found your co-worker someone in your farm as an interior decorator or interior designer from whom you can take some suggestions before the entire lighting design and other is common lighting common lighting means 
if you were a lighting for a workspace like this or a residential complex like this where aesthetic looks doesn't matter so much usually most of the cases you will find such clients who are mostly go with the common lighting and for that cases you have to deal with yourself okay here interior designer or interior decorator doesn't matter so much because you can do the entire lighting by yourself that is the requirement while lighting calculation an engineer should learn and is an important part in design purpose so let's understand this with a problem solving now let us understand this entire lighting calculation method by a problem solving before solving the problem I can tell you that you have to do this type of calculation if you are working in an industry because the client sometime may ask you for the calculation now you can ask me that how a client could know electrical engineering see sometimes your client may be an organization or a farm at which you were working as a consultant so that firm will also have their own electrical engineer who will review your entire design as well as the calculation so my suggestion will be learn this calculation technique properly now first understand the problem estimate the number of 500 wattage lamps which would be required to illuminate a workspace which has dimension of 30 into 15 meters by means of lamp mounted 5 meters above the working plane so suppose you have this workspace which dimension is 30 meter and 15 meter okay so you have to use 500 wattage lamps to illuminate this entire workspace the average illumination required is about 100 lux now your question will be what is 100 lux it is the illumination level it varies suppose you are doing a very precision type of work suppose jewelry or sewing type of work then this illumination goes to 700 lux again for street lighting this illumination level is 70 lux so in a nutshell this is nothing but the amount of light required for a particular work is specified in lux level now coefficient of utilization is 0.4 this means the amount of light that is coming from a light fixture comes to your working plane if 40 percent of light that is you are getting on your working plane coefficient of utilization is 0.4 and what is height of the working plane it is usually the height of the table on which a person works and your light should be fixed 5 meters above this table or the working plane the next is luminous efficiency is 16 lumens per watt that means 1 watt is equal to 16 lumen so you are using that kind of light fixture it varies from one lamp to another another important thing is candle depreciation power is equal to 
20 percent so depreciation usually occurs due to amount of dust that comes over the time on the light as well as the aging of filament these are the reasons why the depreciation of any single light occurs now the question asks you how many lights each of 500 watt is required to illuminate this workspace clear now to solve this kind of problem a simple formula is gross lumen required is equal to area into flux level into depreciation factor divided by utilization factor now one thing you have to understand in the question what is given as 20 percent as candle power depreciation is not equal to 0.2 as depreciation factor if you write it it is completely wrong here the equation can be written as same thing into mf into this mf means maintenance factor and whenever in the question it is given as 20 percent of depreciation then you have to write this particular expression as you can replace the maintenance factor mf as 1 minus 0.2 as given in the question candle power depreciation equal to 0.2 if the question gives you depreciation factor is equal to something then only you can write directly in this particular equation otherwise you have to go through this particular equation these are the main problems during the calculation that the students or a budding engineer used to do so i think in this way you can avoid this calculation mistake so let's put our values given in the question in this particular equation that i have written here at the third so this will be your luminous total gross required lumen suppose l is equal to 30 into 15 into Lux level is question 100. Your maintenance factor is equal to 0.8 and your utilization factor is equal to 0.4. And this gives 140625 lumens. Clear? Now from these lumens, we have to determine wattage because the bulbs available in the market is in wattage value and in the question it is given that how many 500 watt lamp should be or required so we have to necessarily convert it into wattage according to the question 16 lumen is equal to 1 watt so this much of lumen is equal to 8789.0625 what so this much of wattage is required to illuminate the whole workspace at 100 lux level this is very important point clear yeah. now each bulb consists of 500 watt so how many wattage 500 watt bulb is required so just simply divide it with 500 so number of bulbs required is equal to this divided by 500 that is equal to 17.57 in whole number it is equal to 18 so 18 number of bulbs is required to illuminate this workspace 
so you have to apply 18 bulbs for this entire workspace now my question to you is how could you place the bulb or this 18 number of bulbs in this 13 to 15 square meter workspace how could you calculate that distance or the gapping between each bulbs because whenever you are putting bulbs here you have to put a certain gaps between each bulb how would you cal calculate that distance mention in the comment section below if you have any doubt then please mention in the comment section below and if you want to buy any of our paid courses then link is given in the description box below please go to the link and you can purchase our courses as per your requirement